to a new vlog and as you can see I'm in a bit of a different background today so I've just checked in to the Broadwick Soho Hotel which is new and it's absolutely beautiful it's next to the Ivy um, in Soho and you sort of like don't really know it's there because it has this beautiful pink door on the outside and it's just honestly the interiors are just so nice inside so I'm here with Elizabeth Arden I'm doing a brand stayover which is super exciting we have a beautiful dinner planned we've just been and done a presentation to about some new products so I'm here to celebrate the launch of the retinol ceramide HPR new capsules which is super exciting the room is just filled with Elizabeth Arden skincare so I'll give you a little room tour in a second outfit for the day I'm not sure if you can see but I'm just wearing a grey mock neck jumper and my trench coat and my black trousers I'm also styling actually my new samba so let me turn around in the full length mirror so I ended up caving and getting the new samba colorway in the black and the cream I just feel like they're gonna go with so many of my outfits like as soon as I ordered them I was like yeah these are completely a vibe but let's do a little room tour so this is the bathroom it's got this beautiful marble sink I love the lighting too and then it's got all herringbone floor which is stunning and then this is the beautiful bed that I'll be sleeping in tonight. This is such a gorgeous room. I love the like blues, the pink, the gold, the interior. Look at this as well. How nice is this with all the coffee and drinks? And I think there's also some bits in here too. So this kettle's really nice actually. How minimal and nice is that kettle? I mean, I'm easily sort of like drawn to anything that's house appliance. Also kindly left me some new products on the bed to try. So I absolutely love the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. It's one of my favorite creams. I also love their vitamin C capsules. But today we're here to celebrate the launch of this, which is super exciting. I've just tried the product out literally like on my hand and whatnot, but I'll do a full routine later um, after dinner and whatnot. because I've got a really nice dinner plan so I've got to get ready for that but yeah this room is absolutely stunning I'm so excited to be here with Elizabeth Arden such a lovely treat so I'm gonna get changed now unpack my suitcase I need to make sure that my outfit hasn't creased or anything dinner this evening is a touch of pink so shock I'm not wearing neutrals for once I'm wearing colour so I ordered this really beautiful co-ord set from River Island it's just a really nice pink waistcoat I love styling a waistcoat matching trousers so this is a very like a me outfit and then I also ordered these shoes because I needed a new sort of like creamy nude um, court shoe and they do these in black too so I do want to order the black ones but they're super comfortable I tried them all on adjusted the strap and they're not too high either and then for my evening bag I'm going to use this one which is new from Katie Loxon's spring summer 2024 collection and I just love the shape of it I think for an evening bag it's perfect it also comes with a strap too inside but I think I'm just going to leave it without the strap on and this is the makeup slash wash bag which they kindly gifted me with the handbag I really love the neutral colour it's the same colour as my weekend bag so I wanted a matching sort of bag to take away with me but it's sort of like zips open at an angle then opens out but I love the personalization on these so yeah perfect for little trips like this away so in the room they've put in like I don't know what they are but they're just so nice they're like pink truffles with jam is it gonna focus um it's all glittery but they taste so good like I need to know what these are Oh my god. No. Like, there were six in here and there's one left. They taste unreal. I've got just under 45 minutes to take them away from me because 
I'm gonna save that one when I get back because mm, I need to know what they are. So for makeup, I've just done a, they did a like skin color treatment, which is like a spray airbrush. Very similar like airbrush, which I had like for my wedding day, which was like a sort of like spray silicone as the sort of like top fixing thing to fix my makeup for the day. But it sort of makes your skin glow instantly. And my skin is glowing. And in terms of makeup, I haven't got time to like remove and start again, but I wanna have a nice pamper after dinner and like remove everything. Um, so yeah, this, oh my God. Yeah, this bag literally just opens like, I don't know if you can see, I'm just gonna pop this in the sink. When it comes to eye makeup, I just like quick, easy, like I never faff too much. And I always just use my creamy Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as a base. I love using bronzer as an eyeshadow. And then I go in with this Charlotte Tilbury palette. So this is their Exagger Eyes, Bigger Brighter Eyes. Um, I had this for, I well, this for a bit now, um, but it was in a set. And I've used my other one to death. Like there's literally like, I've literally used it to death. Um, but this one, this pigment here, is so shimmery i'm not sure if you can see but i've got it on my eyelids now um it's just so sparkly and you literally just need a small bit and because i'm wearing like pink tonight i'm thinking of going sort of like soft on my eyes um and then a really nice sort of like soft pink nudie lip um but yeah i really love the charlotte tilbury palette so just so quick and easy just for evening makeup <laughs> This Armani blusher is my favorite blusher because it has like a shimmer in it. So it's like a highlighter too. So this is the shade 50. It's their Luminous Silk Glow Blush. And I always just use this because it says having to put like a liquid highlighter on the top, especially when you use like sort of like with your concealer and your powder, sometimes you can get a bit of cakiness around where the highlighter is. So I just prefer to go in with this and it's just such a beautiful blusher. So I'm all ready for dinner. I've literally just left my hair because I haven't got time to do anything with it. But I did sort of blow dry it this morning. So it's sort of like, yeah, I've just sort of flicked my end on the bit. It's not really <laughs> lasted. So I just brushed it through and I probably just took it beyond my ears anyway. But my little earrings are super cute. They're just from Pandora. They're like little like flowers, like daisies and the matching necklace, which I think works really nicely with this um, waistcoat because it feels quite like sort of springy. So I thought a little bit of like, Floral jewellery will look really nice. Um, makeup, I've just sort of gone like really pinky. I'm wearing Pillow Talk on my lips. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and meet everyone for dinner now. Just come back from dinner and drinks and oh my god the food was amazing this hotel is so nice like it's like so like boutique -y and the interiors is just beautiful um the staff are like super lovely as well it's just yeah a really really lovely hotel i definitely want to come up back here but i'm just gonna do my skincare routine now and take off my makeup. I've been looking forward to doing this all evening. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I've got my phone ready to film um, for some TikTok content, but I've got my Ceramid oil. I've then got the Retinol HPR capsules. 
Um, there's also a retinol ceramide eye cream, the retinol HPR water cream, which I tried earlier, and oh my god, it's so like hydrating. And I had it on my hands earlier, my hands are so smooth. And then I'll finish with the eight hour lip balm. So my lips are super dry at the moment, but I absolutely love the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. It's a product I swear by, so never realized I actually did a balm for it. So I'm gonna try this too. baby last night the beds are incredible and my skin is honestly looking so plump this morning i've just had a shower and everything this is really nice to take in the shower because it just sort of like foams up which is really nice for cleansing your face and then this body lotion oh my god it's so lightweight so it's definitely going to be my new everyday i've just had to change cameras because my sony just died on me and i've not brought my charger which i've brought everything else like i've literally bought everything i've picked up the wrong wire um so i'm glad i picked up my sony as well so it might look a little bit different but this looks a little bit brighter um i'm not sure if you can see my skin better look a bit pale on this camera but yeah my skin feels amazing so i'm just getting ready for breakfast now um which will be really nice and this lip balm is also really good it's the this is why i don't like this camera <laughs> because it doesn't focus it's not going to focus but yeah it's basically the um elizabeth arden eight hour um lip balm so i used that last night as well so my lips are so dry like literally so dry and i always use the eight hour cream like i had um my skin flared up literally the other week um and i woke up and my face was like really dry and really peely um i think i was just trying some new products and my skin reacted so i wasn't sure what it was so i stripped everything back so obviously my skin barrier was damaged um and i was literally just lathering my face in the eight hour cream um because it's it's so good for everything like sore skin dry skin like cracked like cuticles like sore lip everything honestly it's such a good cream um i always take it with me traveling as well like it's always in my um hand luggage um yeah i was literally lathering my face in that just like for a couple of days i'd literally just leave it on when i was working from home my face is like super shiny but it just cleared all that dryness up straight away because i couldn't exfoliate so i had to sort of like lock all as much moisture as i can into my skin because obviously my skin barrier was damaged um so yeah such a powerful little cream but i'm gonna pop on some of the spf so this is the oh i'm so sorry guys this freaking camera hold on yeah i think it's focused a little bit so this is their spf it's their provage range so i didn't realize they did an spf or this range i'm going to pop some fat to 50 on god i look so pale with this camera i think because the light is literally bouncing on my head and my skin is so fresh this morning so it's their City Smart DNA Enzyme Complex Anti Pollution Antioxidants Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Hydrating Shield. So SPF, like this, is a non-negotiable. Like I've been super strict with SPF now for ages. Um, oh, it's tinted. Is it tinted? Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to see because this camera's not going to play a game with this morning. I'm so annoyed I didn't bring my Sony charger. Like, I'm normally, like, yeah, I don't ever... It's because my power bank was on charge, basically, and I picked up that instead. Can't tell. No, it's not. I think it's just the colour of it. I think it just sort of, like, adapts to your skin. Oh, but wow. 
this real so nice very very hydrating definitely i sort of quite go like don't be sort of like sparing with your spf um i always just like to make sure i put plenty on my eyes i always just rub it up to my ears too I'm not sure whether to go just like fresh face to breakfast. I may put on a little bit of something so I feel like I look like a toe, but my skin is also skinning this morning. So I feel like I might just put a bit of like flawless filter on just so I'm a little bit presentable because I would like to go down the stairs like this, but I don't know if anyone else has got ready, so I don't want to be doing it with the only one with literally like no makeup on looking like a toe um so yeah i'm gonna get ready and get dressed and head down for breakfast because i am starving also if any of you guys are interested in trying any of these products out they have kindly given me a discount code so this isn't sponsored or anything by them i haven't been told to share it with you but the products are literally so lovely like i feel like i've really pampered myself last night and doing my skincare this morning i love 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 this um and this water cream is incredible like i can't even it's beautiful it's so refreshing so hydrating it smells amazing yeah absolutely beautiful so i'll share it on the screen for you now and i'll link all these products below but i thought it'd be nice to share it with you as they've kind of given me this code just as a little thank you for me coming on this trip but a little sort of like treat for you guys as well So I'm back home after a beautiful overnight stay in London. It was honestly such a treat. I've never actually been like completely spoiled like that by a brand before. And it was just so nice. Like, yeah, definitely like the nicest like brand event I've done experience, like staying over and everything. It was just, yeah, so nice. The PR team were honestly absolute angels. So lovely. And I've got so many beautiful products that I'll be trying out. I'm obsessed with the body lotion by Elizabeth Arden and the lip balm. So the eight hour lip balm, I just, yeah, the eight hour cream has been like my ride or die for years. My mum uses it. Um, so I love the lip balm treatment and yeah, I just feel very lucky, very grateful that I get to experience and do really lovely things like this. It's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so, so much. So today I'm running some errands. I managed to package up so many of my vintage parcels. Thank you so much everybody that's been shopping on my vintage. I did share it on my Instagram and yeah, so many pieces have gone. I do have, I think, one more bag of clothes to take pictures of to upload. I also need to go through all my shoes and accessories. So yeah, there's still quite a bit to go through. Um, I had to get Russ helping me take some photos because yeah, I just had so much to get through and then I was packing up parcels, printing the labels, he was taking pictures for me. So my downstairs toilet is actually looking like a depot right now because I need to try and get them all in the car to find some lockers. So hopefully all the lockers aren't full, but I'm currently waiting for my food shop to arrive. I've just been doing an Asda online order. It's just been so much easier. So it's meant to come like half an hour ago, but for some reason my slot's been moved. So I'm sort of like hanging around. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing online shopping. I've got my cookbook ready. I'm doing a phyllo pastry pie, I think it is today. It's a chicken and, yeah, chicken, hot to around. I'm doing the creamy chicken chorizo and leek pie. Honestly, these books have been a game changer. I'll link them for you, but I've just been cooking nonstop out of these books. I also thought I'd show you my cupboards quickly. So I managed to put my little shelves in. So I did a sort of like home update, sort of like organize and declutter vlog. Um, and yeah, I've managed to put my little shelves in. I'm loving the pantry now. It's just so much easier to like cook food from. So yeah, that's my little plate cupboard. I've just sort of stacked the stack on the top here just so I'm not sort of like clanging plates around. Um, I do need to try and get some more of these. Thank you for the love as well on the pantry. You also shared some really good tips with me too on like organising stuff. 
Um, so yeah, thank you for those. I need to definitely go and get some. I know someone mentioned about, you can get a like holder for your chopping boards. So I've got all my chopping boards lobbed up here. The only thing is, I've learned about having a pantry, is obviously I had my, Russ has completely emptied the uh, biscuit jar again. I, I honestly, it's so dangerous. As soon as I fill it up, it's gone. So I thought, can you please stop filling that up because it's making me eat all the snacks. Um, but yeah, I originally, I'd put my onions and potatoes next to each other in the pantry. And I didn't know that if you put onions and potatoes next to each other, the onions release something that makes the potatoes sprout. So I went to go and do a Sunday dinner and I was like, oh my God, these potatoes are sprouted fast. So yeah, that's empty at the moment to throw them all away. But I think you can, I'm gonna move, I think the onions down below. I still need to, I managed to get some more of these baskets. So Russ picked me some up blessing. So I was like, I love these baskets, they're so good. I'm gonna sort of like move the baskets down to this sort of shelf down here. I also baked some muffins as well the other day. Um, so I'm definitely in my sort of home, sort of like wife era. I feel like Russ is very lucky. I did a nice Sunday roast. He's had his nice slow cooker dinners to come home to every night when he's at work. Um, and I've been baking. So yeah, he's definitely scored lucky. Um, I still need to stick this down. But yeah, I think that pantry is just so much easier. It's just when you're cooking, you can just grab all your spices out. It's really nice to see everything, but I'm gonna get a little like board holder just to organize these little bits. My favorite cupboard is my glasses. So I added some of the shelves in here. I also got some little holders for mugs. You can only fit four mugs on there, which is slightly annoying. Um, but I think they look really nice because I had all my glasses all like stacked unevenly. I just really love these because before the cupboard was so full and the cups were like sort of leaning everywhere and I was chipping things. Um, I just love that I've got my bowls up here, uh, my hot chocolate glasses and yeah I love that these hang. So I've just got my little glass straws. These are my ice latte. Um, I got these off Amazon actually. Um, they call me with glass straws, so I just popped, I did leave the straws in them, but I couldn't hang my mugs. Um, so I just put them in the drawer, but yeah, this was just off Amazon. It just sort of like sticks to the back. I'm not sure if you can see. It's sort of like a, um, you know, the command strips, it's like that. Um, so they just slot there and then these just sit on the top. So I've got little like cork holders. They're just from Ikea. And then the other cupboard I've sorted out is this glasses one. So it'll be empty at the moment because I need to empty the dishwasher. But I've just popped on the toilet glasses there, my little ones. I just think there, yeah, these are just really nice to add into your cupboard. And then I've just sorted the wine glasses out. And then of course, like those are sort of like my nice cupboards. And then we have the odd glass cupboard. So I feel like every house has got an odd glass cupboard. So I thought I'd put all my like nice glasses and everything all in those ones, like above the coffee machine. And then here, got my plates there. So very chuffed with how that's looking now. I just, yeah, it makes me feel so sort of like put together. Um, like the house is like organized doing stuff like that. I'm honestly so excited to start making the house feel very spring. Cause I feel like I've not really changed much from like I literally just removed the Christmas decks and I just like flung some bits back. Um, so I'm very excited to add some like, spring touches to the home. So I will be doing a sort of like dedicated home spring updates blog because we love a home blog. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I picked up from stories. I picked up some really nice spring bits. I've also ordered some Abercrombie jeans. I've been after some of the high-waisted 90 straight and the sort of, I think it was a slightly slightly wide or relaxed fit ones because I have two pairs in the dark blue and the gray and they're honestly such a good fitting pair of jeans and Abercrombie had such a good discount on last week they had 25% off their denim but you also got 15% on top so I thought right okay I'm buying my denim now because I needed some new spring denim I've honestly sold that many pairs of jeans on vintage I tried everything on things didn't fit me or because I'm five foot six I feel like I struggle with the length of jeans they're either too cropped or yeah I'm trying to find the right fit because sometimes I like to wear jeans with different shoes if that makes sense depending on the leg length so yeah I'm hoping that these ones are all right what I love about Abercrombie is that they do leg length so you can get a petite regular and tall which I think is a game changer when it comes to trousers <laughs> and then this is currently what my downstairs toilet looks like it looks like a depot so I need to take these three bags in the car 
That's a new mirror for a sideboard for the kitchen. I've still not found my sideboard yet, but I found my mirror. So that's been sitting in there since before Christmas. I think I ordered that Black Friday. Um, this downstairs toilet's huge, it's like massive. So things end up getting stored in here, or like new furniture that rushes through these bags in there. So I've got to try and get all those in the car in a sec. Okay, so I'll show you the knitwear. Here you go, come out, you're gonna slobber on everything. Whenever I've got a shopping bag, he just instantly sticks his head in stuff. So, I went for some colour. So there are so many beautiful spring pieces coming into stories now. And yeah, I thought I'm gonna try and be a bit more adventurous this year. So I feel like I really enjoyed adding a pop of colour. And it's all started with the Amber Stories Red Jumper. So I feel like, yeah, it's just given me that little bit of like, oh, I can sort of add a cup of colour, it works nice for my neutrals, tie it in with accessories, and I thought I might play with some pastels this year. So the first bit of colour piece that I got was this beautiful cardigan. This is so nice. I think this blue is just beautiful. Um, so I did size up in this. It is a alpaca wool blend. Sorry, I've got a very snorty pig. Here you go, stop licking me. Just sit down nicely. Can you sit down nicely? Can you sit down nicely, please? So I've just um, put some hand cream on. And he loves everything, don't you? Stop it. <laughs> he sees it all ears. You're a fuss spot, aren't you? So yeah, I would recommend sizing up in this. Um, so I feel like I want it to be a bit more like boxy, but I just thought for the spring, be super nice to style. I do also really want some of the gazelles in the, they do a really lovely blue color. So I feel like that potentially might be my spring shoe. I also got a new pair of Adidas Sambas, which you would have seen earlier on in the vlog, which I'm obsessed with. They're such a good color for me. And um, they literally just go with everything. And then the next bit of color I got, was this beautiful peach jumper. And yeah, I just think with a little t-shirt underneath, with some light denim, I'd also love to get some matching trainers to match this, of course, because I love to tie things together. Um, but yeah, I sized up again in this, in the medium. I do have this jumper already in the cream, in the medium, and it's such a good everyday jumper. So I'm not sure what the style of this is called. I'll link it for you, but they do them in lots of different colors. They do them beige. I also picked up the black version as well. So when I went last time, sorry, I'll just pop that on there. And um, when I went last time, I really wanted a plain black jumper, um, which was thinner. I have one, which is more of like a um, mohair. So a bit more of a fluffier jumper, but I wanted a good everyday, just plain black jumper. So I got this also in the size medium, a really good price as well. They're just like such beautiful quality, lovely jumpers. I just love stories for their knitwear. I think I literally just picked up loads of knitwear. Yeah, I literally did. Um, and then the last jumper I got was this gray one, but it's got like short sleeves. So it's like a relaxed fit, which I think is really nice, especially when you're wearing like either like your trench coats or lighter jackets. There's nothing worse than having a longer sleeve jumper all bunched up. And I think then when you do take your jacket off, you still look sort of like cozy, but then you're showing like a little bit of skin with your arms, you can show your watch, your jewelry. And I really loved how these look. They also do them in lots of different colors. They had some really bright colors as well, actually. There was like a sort of um, lime color, like a pastel lime. And they also did this in baby blue as well, which was so nice. I loved the baby blue one. So I did stay true to size in this I got the size small because I found that it was quite an oversized fit it's more like their um, relaxed tea style so I love another stories for their oversized relaxed tea so they do come up big so I thought yeah be nice they did this in potentially a cream or like a beige we'll have to have a little look online and see what other colors they do but I thought for spring would be perfect and then I literally just picked up some um, new socks I have a pair of fluffy story socks especially style with my trainers and then some hand cream because this is one of my favorite ones i always keep it in my bag i just love stories for they've got lots of nice um like body wash body scrubs hand scrubs all sorts you can sort of like um have got like a little section with a sink so you can like similar to like what lush has so you can just go and try all of their smellies so i'll pop all them back on there before hugo slobbers all over them you're gonna help me do the food shop in a minute there's a man coming with the shopping. You're gonna help me. You're gonna help me. 
He loves the Asa Food Shop, to be fair. He's always got his head all in the frigging crates. Oh, pardon you, that was a nice little bit. Charming Hugo. Um, so I went for the 90s Relaxed in the 27, regular. Really, really nice wash. I'll try them all on actually. I might just do it in the mirror just down there and move the chair because upstairs is a mess. And then I got the 90s Relaxed, I think again, in this sort of darker wash. That is very similar than what I've done there. Relaxed high rise. Relax. I did I did sort of need an in-between pair. We'll see, I'm not sure what I've ordered there. And then I ordered the 90s straight in this wash. So some really good, I feel like this wash is really, really good for spring, but also it can go into autumn as well. I was just missing like I have my darker wash ones. Um, I was just missing that sort of in-between shade. And I have my really light ones in from stories. So yeah, let's try them on. Okay, so these ones are the Shush Hugo 90s Relaxed. And they're high rise. And they've got a slight sort of like wide leg. I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh my God. Abercrombie denim is just so good. Like, even look at that at the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Like, they fit so nice. And the length is perfect. And then these ones are the 90s straight with the high rise. Again, these ones fit so good really good length the only thing that's really bothering me is i don't know why um it's i'm gonna have to return them they've got a mark i'm not sure if you can see like a stitch join mark thing like that's not ideal it looks like yeah there's been a hole there or something which is really really strange because oh, i was so annoyed because i was desperate for these like and they're probably friggin sold out now but i know that is just going to annoy me i don't know why there's a random yeah like the denim's all caught yeah that's actually going to go into a hole so i'm gonna have to return those ones um so you can sort of like sew with ballet flats but also sits nice like with my converse and with my sambas um i just found so many of my other shoes were not shoes, jeans were like two sort of like crops for them, more like just like spring summer denim. But I wanted denim that I could wear all year round with obviously the same shoes. Sounds really silly, but honestly, leg length is just a pain when it comes to jeans. So happy with that. I just need to return them because of the mark. So annoying, isn't it? Look how you're standing. Straighten your legs up. <laughs> Look how you're standing. And then these ones are the. 90s relaxed high waisted so these have sorry more of a obviously the legs slightly wider but they've also got a raw hem on the bottom which i think works really nicely and yeah the fit is just yeah i wear a 27 so these are the 27 regular in jeans i am my dress size is a 810 but i'm more of like a bigger eight smaller ten if that makes sense um so i put the 27 fits perfect like i used to sometimes get a 28 in jeans like i think in stories i'm a 28 but in abercrombie i'm 27 in their trousers as well my high-waisted like slow and um white trousers they're also a 27 and yeah i feel like abercrombie denim does loosen a little bit as well when you style it so you're best going for more of a snug one because yeah these are sort of like nice and snug but i think a26 would be too tight like here um and i feel a bit restricted but yeah happy with these i'm just really annoyed about the mark on that one like i don't think it's meant to be on it but it's definitely not a but then it, it, it's weird because they've got so can you see on there not sure if you can see so it has that sort of distressed look but then why would they put it right in the middle there like it's really really noticeable 
and it's a shame really. I'm just gonna see what the air. Yeah, literally look, look at that on the inside. Like I just know after a wash or a few wears that is gonna rip. So I think that is a fault with the jeans.